Hello and welcome to this episode of Depressed Room. My name is Amal Chaudhary and today we will be talking about how US soldiers got injured in Iran missile attack. Several US service members were injured during last week's Iranian missile attack on Al Assad air base in Iraq despite the Pentagon initially saying that no casualties had taken place. While no US service members were killed in the January 8 Iranian attack on Al Assad air base, several were treated for concussion symptoms from the blast and are still being assessed. The US led military coalition fighting ISIS in Iraq and Syria said in a statement on Thursday. Out of an abundance of caution, service members were transported from Al Assad air base Iraq to Landstuhl Regional Medical Center in Germany for follow-on screening. When deemed fit for duty, the service members are expected to return to Iraq following a screening, the statement added. A US military official told a news website that 11 service members had been injured in the attack which was launched in retaliation for the US air strikes that had killed Iranian general Qasem Soleimani the previous week. Defense One was the first to report on the injured service members. Following the attack, the Pentagon said that no casualties had resulted from the 16 missiles fired by Iran. The US military defines a casualty as either an injury or fatality involving personnel. Asked about the apparent discrepancy, a defense official told CNN that was the commander's assessment at the time. Symptoms emerged days after the fact and they were treated out of an abundance of caution. Last week, Secretary of Defense Mark Esper had said the initial assessment found only damage to property. And those officials said Iran may have chosen to send a message rather than take action significant enough to provoke a substantial US military response, a possible signal the Trump administration was looking for a rational to calm the tensions. Iraq did receive a warning that the strike was coming and was able to take necessary precautions, according to a statement from Iraq's Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi. A US defense official said that Iraq in turn warned the United States. However, Pentagon officials have said they received no such warnings from the Iraqis but that the US was able to detect the attack in enough time to alert US forces on ground. Iran's UN ambassador said last Friday that the Iraqi bases housing US troops had been primarily selected to demonstrate target accuracy not to kill Americans disputing public claims made by top Trump administration officials. So this is it from this episode of Depressed Room for more such videos keep watching my nation.